okay. Professional studies or uh, university studies after that. 35% of all Finnish people have an academic degree and uh, over 60% have a post-primary education. We Finns, we are well-educated people and after statistics, uh, our educational system is best in the whole world. All Finns can read and, and write nowadays. If you look to the right, so you can see grey building, and that is our national theatre, and that is the typical national romantic style building. And uh, on your right hand side, you can see very huge building, which is our main. People can take the train from Helsinki to Moscow, to St. Petersburg to Lapland and to other parts of Finland. On the left you can see our National Gallery, Ateneum. And uh, if you look to the right, so you can see that this <laughs> railway o'clock at night. And it's quite expensive system because we have very dark nights and evenings and mornings in winter time and slippery streets. But anyway, it is still functioning, this system, early morning delivery. Okay, and uh, he was a nobleman, a real aristocracy, who got his educationally different wars. And thanks to Mannerheim, Finland is independent. And now you can see on the right his, his statue. He died in 1951. And he was also our president after the Kiasma, the Museum of Contemporary Art. Swedish-speaking students, and this yellow building on the left is uh, for the Finnish-speaking uh, students. The school of less 3,000 euros a month. And uh, when we get this 3,000, we have to pay 28% uh, taxes. And this taxation rate, it goes up to 60. So. We don't love our taxes, but we have 38 euros. All tests are included. And if we have to stay... Okay. okay. So I'm sorry, we are taking you first to see this Sibelius monument, and after that, this Olympic Stadium, because it's better lined with his friends who were authors, painters, professors, architects, and so on. And uh, you can see it now on the left-hand side. It was completed in 1966. See that uh, we have many street works going on here. We have many difficulties with the buses and that's why yeah. we can't take cars. 
on the western coast of Finland, where we have a very small town, Uusi Kaupunki, and at the moment they need 1,000 employees moving there to this small town. That was a very big problem for us because we had this very high unemployment percent last year. This huge building on the left, that is a nursery school, it is at the same area where the hospitals are. And now, monument. It takes only 20 minutes. I think that it is like a hamburger, <laughs> this building on the right. And uh, they had their nice uh, parties and festivities there. But Crimean War, 1850s, was really hard, and after that they didn't come here anymore. Pneu Museum Seurasari, where we have wooden buildings from 1820s and after that, which have been brought from part of Finland and there we have every July Savonlinna Opera Festivals and that is must for many people to visit these opera festivals there a Barbie exhibition there and the building is by Eliel Saarinen I mentioned the name already and the newest new building is on the left, which is Helsinki Music Center, which is also housing Sibelius Academy premises. And if you look to the right, so you can see the most well-known building in Finland, which is after Tsar Alexander I, who promoted Helsinki as the new capital of Finland. And this old building on the left uh, was the focus point for student life that uh, was the stu old student house. Alexandrin Katu goes now to the left. And uh, soon in front of us, church is on the right hand side which is wooden one you can hardly ride for the weddings there and uh, soon if you look to the right so you can see very nice cafe which is Ekberi Bay uh, family since it was founded in 1860s and here this is boulevard uh, and this is also one of the oldest streets here in downtown